In this video, I will share with you step-by-step -step information and instruction how to make dumpling from scratch with flour and water and the liquid salt. Jamaican boiled dumpling recipe. Before we get started, do remember to subscribe. Highly appreciate it. Encourage me to do more videos like this. To make my dumpling from scratch, I'll be using two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a cup of water. So I will put the flour, the salt, combined with water in a clean container. And do remember clean hands. And do remember when making dumpling, it's not associated with tall fingernails. The nails must be cut and properly clean. So when you make your dumplings and you don't stick to the dumpling rule, nobody wants to eat your dumpling. Do remember fingernails properly cut hands properly clean okay so combine flour water and salt together to make a dough so I use half a cup of water this is a little bit too dry so it need a little more water so I will add you know that big cooking spoon I will add just that amount of water to get it right so we try to keep the measurement for make it easier for you because this dumpling can be too dry or too wet so as you can see I just add one big teaspoon one big cooking spoon of water more so I use a cup of water plus no I use half a cup of water come on try half a cup of water it was a little bit too dry then I add and next I'm big cooking spoon more of water and that's perfect so squeeze and knead and squeeze and knead till I get the dough in one very easy to do nothing hard very easy to do so see now the dough is almost complete all in one so just remember the mix ratio two cups of flour half a teaspoon of salt half a cup of water and I put a little more this uh, next big spoon of water so our dough is almost complete and you can put this dough down to rest or set whatever you call it so you can knead the dough at a time in the meantime you can put your pot and the fire with water to come to a boil so in the meantime you're giving the, the water a head start so me while you need in the floor the water is there getting coming to a boil leave to rest if this video is interesting or educational please leave a like subscribe press the notification bell to see more video like this After I leave the rest, now you can get some clean water and wash your hands. So when you make the dumplings or knead the dough, your hand will be kind of messy. It's very easy to clean. You see, see I just get a washcloth and some water. You can do it at the pipe. If you don't have a pipe, just do it in a, a, a container. And do remember, you're making dumpling here. Everything needs to be clean. You don't want to contaminate your dumpling. Dumpling is very unique and funny. Most people say they don't eat dumpling, but they rather eat it when they make it because they're not sure if the person who make it hands are clean. So 
just wash your hand, get your hand clean. So that's the washing of your hand clean. Now we're going back to the making of the dumpling. So stir a piece off, meat of a size, deep and how big and how small you want the dumpling. Um, put all the, the rough edge in, like put them to the middle or in the center, roll. So making this dumpling is like playing around with Play-Doh. So if you guys ever use Play-Doh when you're small, it's the same process. And then like karate chop <laughs> and get it smooth and nice. And you just repeat this process based on the amount of dumpling you're making. So what I, what I will do now, I'm making the dumpling. So we need the dough, so we are making dumpling. Roll, 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 roll. And then we do karate chop. <laughs> um, the karate chop idea was um, I was teaching this American girl to make dumpling, and she said, "Oh, Mr. Troy, um, this is like play doh." And she was the one I hear with the karate chop thing, and I said, "Well, alright, a good learning idea." So it's all about. That's my normal press, but before I do her uh, karate chop. So this dumpling is easy to, to make. You understand me? Um, as I say, just think about it like Play-Doh. From Kidna Gardening. Playing with Play-Doh is the same process. So nothing to worry about and stress yourself about. Just make the dumpling. Enjoy yourself making dumpling. Your dumpling may look cute. It may not. You know what? It's still dumpling. You know? So if you don't get the, the proper look in the first time you do it, don't worry about it. Over a period of time, by doing it and doing it, you get it right. So, we are making flour dumpling here. It's not easy. And then, um, this is a normal flour dumpling. And then when you make it like, soup is a soup you have a next looking dumpling they make what they call it the spinners same eating same taste but just a different look so so, so this is spinners now it's just a smaller piece and you roll it done consider that done spinners yes yeah. so stew peas uh, and like when you're making like a small pot of soup but you don't want the big dumpling that in it uh, when you're serving the soup, most likely in cup and not plates or uh, bowls, you make um, spinners. So this dumpling is optional. You can make them big, you can make spinners, do whatever you want to do. So that's spinners. So this dumpling is ready to put in the pot. So remember I told you to put your pot on the fire with water. And you don't need a lot of water, you just need water to cover over the dumpling. So if when you put the dumpling in the pot, it have too much water. You can just easily bail out some of the water. You just want dumpling water, enough water to cover over the dumpling. You don't need to drown it. So this is my pot with my boiling water. And I tip just like a little tart of salt in this. Some people don't use salt, so it's optional. So this is my pot with my dumpling. Boiling, steaming, bubbling. See it? Bubbling, bubbling, dumpling in the pot. It's that easy. Yeah, this dumpling thing is nothing hard. Simple. So, see, I'm cooking some other meat there, my dumpling pot steaming like a steam train. That's dumpling. And this dumpling can cook with green bananas, yellow yam. Or any yam, Irish potatoes, pumpkin, so you can have the pot with a variety of things boiling. But we are just concentrating on this dumpling here. But you can cook other things with your dumpling. So just cook dumpling and enjoy what you're doing. It's nothing hard. Just enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Until then, see you guys in my next video. Peace.